Hello everyone. So we are going to start the transcription or it is also known as the RNA synthesis. So how the transcription it takes place in the prokaryotes as well as in the eukaryotes. What are the different steps? What are the enzymes which are responsible? Or what are the function of different enzymes which play the vital or you can say the crucial role in the process of transcription. So without wasting any time, let's start the process of transcription or you can say RNA synthesis. So basically if you see, the thing is that it is in the figure I have shown you the central dogma. So as per the central dogma of the molecular biology, simply central dogma it means a unidirectional movement or one-way flow of information from the DNA to the RNA. So now the, trans the transfer of the information from the DNA to the RNA is known as the transcription whereas from the RNA to the protein it is known as the translation and this concept was clearly given by Watson and Crick, right? Now you see the first step of the transcription that is the synthesis of the RNA from the DNA it is the first step but in case of the reverse transcription the dna it is synthesized from the rna for example in the retrovirus for example hiv where the dna it is generally prepared or the dna it is generally transcribed from the rna the reverse it takes place moreover the concept it is given by the time by the two scientists namely tamin and baltimore in the sarcoma virus also known as the taminism and the enzyme which catalyzes this type of reaction actually it is the reverse transcriptase this reverse transcriptase concept it is used in our newly designed or the latest tool of molecular biology which is known as a pcr so there we use this reverse transcriptase enzyme or it is also known as the rna dependent dna polymerase enzyme now in the second step of the transcription what actually happens see the mrna it is generally synthesized so the mrna it moves the information from the dna to the ribosome to direct the production of the protein now the production of the protein is generally takes place in the ribosome right so the translation represents a change in the language from the nucleotide letter in the rna to the amino acid letter in the protein basically as we all know that the genetic code or you can say the information which are there in the dna they always remain in the form of nucleotide sequence so these information are generally later on it is carried by the mrna which will be finally moved to or which will be finally going to the ribosome to direct the production of the protein and thus we can say the transcription it is also known as the rna synthesis it is the transfer of the information from the dna where it is stored into the rna which can be now transported or interpreted in the form of proteins so the major classes of the rna so now the three major classes of rna so basically the three major classes of rna are basically these rna they used to get involved in the production of protein synthesis we know that so basically the three classes of the rna they are the mrna mrna means the messenger rna they carry the message from the dna to the ribosome for the synthesis of the protein the next it is the rrna rrna it is the ribosomal rna it is actually the major structural component for the protein synthesis and the next one it is the tRNA. The tRNA it acts as a, actually as an adapter molecule which actually aligns the amino acid according to the sequence which is present in the mRNA for the synthesis of the protein. Now let's start with the transcription process which actually takes place in the prokaryotes. So this is the figure I am going to tell you each and every part. So let's start. See in the prokaryotes this transcription it is catalyzed by an enzyme which is known as the rna polymerase and this makes the rna this rna polymerase it makes the rna from the dna using the dna as a template right now the strand of the dna which is transcribed is the template 
you can say template it is also known as the sense or you can say the non coding strand in the direction of 3 prime to 5 prime whereas there is one more strand is there because it is a double stranded dna we are going to transcribe right the other strand is known as the nonsense or you can say non template or coding strand which is the main one this coding strand which remains in the direction of 5 prime to 3 prime now so you see the prokaryotes they have only one rna polymerase which synthesize all three types of the rna that is the basic difference i repeat this line once again the prokaryotes they have only one rna polymerase which synthesize all the three type of rna mrna tRNA, and the rrna right now the rna polymerase it moves the template strain of the dna in the three prime to five prime direction and the rna molecule it always grow in the direction of five prime to three prime so rna polymerase they moves the template in the direction of three prime to five prime whereas the rna molecule it grows in the direction of five prime to three prime the rna polymerase it consists of the five polypeptide so these are the polypeptide nothing but you can see here there are two alpha unit one sigma unit one beta unit and one beta prime unit right so this is consists of the five polypeptide unit now this sigma unit this is the sigma unit it acts as the promoter on the dna template moreover the b subunit it helps in the formation of phosphodiester bone and the b prime subunit it helps in the binding with the template dna right so what are the stage which involves in the transcription in the prokaryotes the first step it is nothing but the binding so where it is going to bind the polymerase so you see the dna promoter region the dna promoter region from where the transcription will start it is a region it is a stretch of about 40 base pair which is adjacent to and including the starting point so this is the promoter region right the promoter region they have a start point it is designated as plus one we always designate the promoter region as a plus one or usually you can say capital a moreover it have a six nucleotide minus 10 sequence so this is a six nucleotide minus 10 sequence see here there are six nucleotide this it is it, this part it is also known as the minus 10 sequence and it also have a six nucleotide it is also known as the minus 35 sequence now 10 nucleotides and 35 nucleotides upstream from the start point so this is the start point then first of all we are going to get the 10 nucleotide sequence or you can say 10 sequence then the 35 sequence the rna polymer is it binds at the polymer by the sigma sub unit which we have already discussed right the next stage of the transcription it is the initiation so how the initiation takes place the see the rna synthesis it starts from the start point we know that the promoter region that is the plus one right now the ribonucleotide triphosphate which is also known as the small r ntps they act as a substrate and the hydrogen bonded to the complementary basis of the template strand as a starting point i repeat the rntps they act as a substrate and the hydrogen bonded to the complementary base of the template strand at the starting point at the starting point you will get a hydrogen bonding now the rna polymerase from the it the rna polymerase now it will form a phosphodiester bone this phosphodiester bone it will be formed between the three prime oh group the oh group which is present in the three prime end of the first rntp and the five prime and p group which is present at the next rntp and during this formation of the phosphodiester bone a ppi unit it is releases in order to first unit it is releases and after adding up to nine rntps this sigma after adding up to nine up, this is a sigma factor right so after adding up to the nine unit it get detaches from the rna polymerase enzyme right the next step it is the elongation so how it is going to get elongated just see in the figure while i am describing the process see the successive rntps they are added to the 
श्री प्राइम ओएस ग्रुप एंड ऑफ द ग्रोइंग आरएनए चेन अबाउट 18 बेसिस पेयर ऑफ द डीएनए आर अनवॉन्ड यू सी हियर द अनवॉन्डिंग इट इज टेकिंग प्लेस हियर सो दिस इज द टेम्पलेट स्ट्रेन दिस इज द कोडिंग स्ट्रेन this is the overall rna polymerase this is the direction of the polymerase so here it is unwinding itself here it is unwinding itself but here it is rewinding after the transcription it is rewinding but here it is unwinding right and this sequence see you see here once it is unwinded so from here a complementary base it is forming a rna it is forming right the most recently synthesized rna is still hydrogen bonded to the dna because it is forming the the bond it is formed between the nucleotides right so forming a short rna dna hybrid so this is a short rna dna hybrid here you can say this is the dna this is the rna this is the hydrogen bond so they are forming a short rna dna hybrid now this unwinding and rewinding causes by the rna polymerase but the super this here again i am repeating this is the rewinding and this is the unwinding it is all caused by the rna polymerase and the super coiling sometimes super coiling may happen which is generally reduces by the enzyme topo isomerase right so this is the overall chart so you can see here the direction 5 prime to 3 prime first of all rna polymerase will come the first step it is the binding of the RNA polymerase and the local DNA unwinding. The next stage here, initiation of the RNA synthesis will take place. Then the chain will elongate and further elongation and finally termination will come. So how the termination of the transcription will take place. So the termination of the transcription it takes place basically in two different pathways. One it is known as the RHO independent pathway. The other one it is known as RHO dependent pathway. So what is the RHO independent pathway? Pathway. basically see in the rho independent pathway the newly formed rna these are a newly formed rna right they are have generally high gc content gc content g for guanine c for cytosine right they have high gc content or you can say they have high gc rich sequence and they have a this is this sequence they have a high amount of the g and c and the ending sequence they have a high amount of the u it is also known as poly u so this gc rich sequence they actually form a hairpin like structure because that bone between g and c it is triple bone so they generally form a hairpin like structure due to the attractive forces right thus what actually happened the gc sequences form the hairpin loop which pulls this rna this hairpin will pulls this rna away from this and this bone between a and u it get broke up break up and this rna finally get removed from this region after the process of transcription so this is a rho independent but in rho dependent pathway what actually happens see rho is a protein so this RHO it causes the disruption of the DNA and RNA hybrid. This is the DNA RNA hybrid. This RHO protein it causes the disruption. This RHO protein it is a specialized helicase which recognizes the 50 to 90 base pair upstream terminator in the mRNA sequence. Thus, you can say this RHO proteins it releases the newly formed RNA. This RHO, here the RHO protein it will remove the newly synthesized RNA from the DNA. Now transcription in the eukaryotes. So basically you see earlier we have only one polymerase but in the eukaryotes we have three types of polymerase. RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2, RNA polymerase 3. Their location is polymerase 1 it is located in the nucleolus which generally forms the rRNA right. Then the polymerase 2 it is found in the nucleus which generally forms the mRNA and then finally you have the RNA polymerase 3 right which actually may help in the synthesis of the tRNA right so here how the initiation takes place so the transcription factor tf transcription factor and the polymer and the sorry and the polymerase it undergo binding the transcription factor tf and the polymerase the rna polymerase they undergo binding to initiate the transcription so how it takes place first of all the transcription factor 2 d it will bind to the tata box now what is the tata box tata box is nothing but it is a dna sequence in the core promoter region tata box it is a dna sequence tata box it is a dna sequence which is found in the core promoter region the next step it is the binding of this 
transcription factor 2D earlier it will get bind to the Tata box the next it is the binding of the transcription factor 2A and 2B here you can see first of all transcription factor D it will get bind then A and B it will get bind here right the next step is, is the resulting it is a it is going to form a complex which is bound by the polymerase to which transcription factor TF 2F it is going to attach it is going to now attach here right then the initiation complex is completed by the addition of TF2E, TF2J and TF2H. So this is the final joining which leads to the initiation and this activation steps it requires the ATP dependent phosphorylation of the RNA polymerase molecule which initiates the transcription. Thus here you can say the ATP they plays a vital role in the synthesis or you can say in the starting or initiation of the process of transcription the next process is, is the elongation process the elongation process in the eukaryote it is similar to that of the prokaryotes but <coughs> in the termination process here three enzymes will take place first of all the rna polymer is one it requires actually the protein factor which recognizes the eight nucleotide terminal sequence in the newly formed RNA then the termination will occur so for RNA polymerase 1 it need to have one 18 nucleotide sequence so that it can stop the transcription process whereas for RNA polymerase 2 it recognizes the poly U which was there in the prokaryotes sequence on the template DNA but hairpin loop is not formed here here in the eukaryotes the hairpin loop it is generally not formed but the rna polymerase 2 it recognizes the poly u sequence and the last one it is the rna polymerase 3 which is newly formed actually it's recognized the newly formed mrna clipped at 10 to 35 nucleotides downstream from this sequence a a u a a a sequence in the growing rna this is also known as the poly a tail right thus at the cliff side in the mrna this poly a tail is formed in eukaryotes at the cleaving side or you can say at the termination step from where no more transcription will take place at that point you will get a poly a tail thus thank you everyone for your patience hearing if you like the video press the like icon you can share this video with your classmates and for further notification from this channel you can subscribe my channel thank you once again